Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. In today's session, we'll see how to import data from file to a table. We use SQL Server to demonstrate the example. In part 12 of this video series, we have seen how to import table data from one server to another server. If you have not watched that video, please do watch that video. So let's see how to import the data from a flat file to a table. So this can be done using the SQL Server import export wizard. We have seen similar example for importing a table from one server to another server. So this file can be of txt or .csv formats. The import can be done using below steps. Just go to the database, the target database where you want to import the file and right click on the database and choose tasks and then import data and then click on next. Once you click on next, it will show the data source. So select flat file as the source in the drop down. Next, browse the file path and specify the text qualifier. Then go to the columns and see the alignment of columns. Then go to the advanced and update the column length as per the schema. Go to the preview tab and see how the data looks like and click on next and then next. Then click on edit mappings. So this is useful when the column names of the source and target are different. That is the column names of the file and the column name of the target table if it is already created, right? So if the names are different, we need to map them explicitly. If the column names of the file and the target table are same, then it will be automatically mapped. Then click on next, next, and you can save it as a package as well. But for now, we'll just demonstrate as without saving as a package. Then click on finish. That's it. The data will be imported. From SQL Server 27 or later versions, right? You have an option to import the data using flat file. So import flat file option is there. So here I have a flat file employee underscore comma which is comma delimited file so I have just used the comma here so we have employee ID employee name employee location date of joining department gender date of birth and salary and these are the rows which are being separated using commas and I have a row which is which is having a text qualifier that is the start of the text that is with double quotes and in between there is a comma and the column is ending with the double quotes again so let's see where it is useful okay and this is the source file which i want to import to the target database so let's close this file for now i want to import the data in sql with ravi martha database so right click on this database go to the tasks and then choose the import data so as i told you we have import flat file option as well so for now let's import the data using import data option click on this import data option then the sql server import export wizard will be opened click on next then choose the flat file as the source click on flat file then browse the file so i have it is on my desktop so tbl employee underscore comma so click on that so once you choose that let it be the default values and for the text qualifier currently it is none and my flat file is having the header so i'm choosing the checkbox so by default it will be enabled if there are no headers in the text file, we just need to uncheck this particular checkbox, right? Let's go to the columns and see how the data looks like. So if you see the employee name, right? For the first record, it is Smith, Adam, right? But since we have not specified the text qualifier, it has moved to the next column. So if you see the employee location has been moved to date of joining and the department has ID 
has been moved to the gender column so the salary the date column has been moved to the salary so we can fix this problem by going to the general and use the text qualifier as double quotes since it says to the import wizard that so whatever the text which is enclosed with double quotes right if the delimiter comes in between the double quotes right it will consider everything as a single column so i have used double quotes here and go to the columns now you can see the smith and adam came into the one single column and you can see the data which is proper now right go to the advanced and now here we have to select the data length for the employee id i have chosen output width as 50 suppose if i want to give the employee name as length 60 i need to change it here right and similarly we should go to each and every column and change the output column width right if it is more so by default sql server takes 50 as the length and click on preview to view the data that's it now click on next now we are importing the data to sql server so choose sql server native client so by default since i have right click on the database it has taken the server name and the database name right now click on next so this is the table name which it has taken by default so let it be employee underscore comma and we need to click on this edit mapping in case if the source and destination columns are different we should map it explicitly now if you want to preview the data just click on preview close it and click on next you can also save it as a SSIS package if you want to check it just check this particular box so that it will save as a package and click on next now and click on finish so the data will be imported here so the eight rows have been transferred now you can also export this particular log uh, if you want to view the report you, should you can also see what are the steps it has done it will just show the log and click on close now we can see the table so let's query the table here so this is the table which we have seen and the data have been imported if you are using sql server 2017 or later versions you can just right click on this particular database go to tasks you will see an option to import flat file so click on that import flat file so it will directly open this particular wizard you just need to specify the input file i just want to use the same file tbl employee underscore comma right just open that and it lasts click on this preview data so it says the table name already exists so we just need to give underscore the option underscore one just a different name now click on the preview data so it will show the preview of the data if you want to modify column just click on that and if you want to change the data type you can just choose this from the drop down right so this is the if you want to define the primary key you can just choose it in the target and click on summary so it is just given the preview of the steps what we have done and click on finish so it just imported the entire data so it is successful now let's close this and see the data the table name is underscore one so let's see if the data have been imported or not execute so the data is present here so this is how we can import data from a flat file to a database so we have discussed how to import a data from flat file to a table So this is how we can import the flat file to a SQL Server target table, right? One option is just right click on the database, choose task, import data, choose flat file as source and specify the text qualifier and you can go to columns to see the alignment of the column 
and go to the advice to update the schema and click on preview of data and if the names are different column names are different choose the edit mapping and click next next and finish that's it the data will be imported to a table you can also use the import flat file option thank you for listening have a great day